Today on the channel, we're not clowning around as we've got Mortal Kombat 11 from McFarlane, the Joker. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Mortal Kombat 11 unboxing and review, of course, from McFarlane Toys. And today, we've got the Joker, yes, the Joker, in Mortal Kombat. But for all your Mortal Kombat needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it, we'll see where it goes from there. So let's take a look at the Joker. The Joker? What's he doing in Mortal Kombat? Is anybody allowed to be in Mortal Kombat now? I'm waiting for some pro wrestlers to transfer over to Mortal Kombat. Uh, maybe some X-Men characters. Who knows? I guess uh, the universe is open to all or, or whatever money is allowed between companies at this point. So we're getting pretty deep in Mortal Kombat. And sometimes this Mortal Kombat 11 line seems to be less Mortal Kombat, more other things. Like how many spawn figures do we get? Now we get Joker. Uh, just... Very strange out there, but it's all right. I guess if they're in the game, hey, let's get a one of everybody in the game. I don't know how many characters are in the game. I don't know how many more they got to go, but I seem to be here for it as I keep buying these figures. Uh, you can pick them up on the Big Bad Toy Stores of the World, Amazons, of course. I'll put a link in the description below, as I always do out there. Uh, but it's interesting as I'm not, like I've said before, I'm not all in on the DC McFarlane. I pass on probably 99% of the figures he releases uh, but for some reason, I like his Mortal Kombat figures, and I love his Spawn figures, as you guys know. Just for whatever reason, the DC does not resonate with me, which is a little strange, because this is Joker, DC, Batman's biggest villain. We get a lot of Jokers in the McFarlane line. Pass on all those, but I'll get the Mortal Kombat one. So I'm just a, a question wrapped up in an enigma, really, at the end of the day. I have no rhyme or reason to my madness. Besides, I'm collecting Mortal Kombat, I'm not collecting DC. I guess that's the answer. But there's the packaging on the Joker. Familiar yellow packaging in the Mortal Kombat 11 line. I do like it. It does pop off the shelf when you're walking by. You can't miss that yellow packaging. A lot of accessories and, of course, a stand with this one. You got Joker down at the bottom. Uh, not quite my Joker, but this one isn't really too far from my favorite Joker, which is, of course, the Super Friends Joker from the 80s. Uh, that was a childhood toy cartoon that I absolutely loved. And this has a little bit of that to it in my eyes. So I don't necessarily hate this one. Uh, so you got Mortal Kombat 11 right there. On the side, you got Glamour Shot. Joker looking only like a Joker could look in Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat, McFarlane, Spawn, all the fun stuff on this side. On the back, no blurb, no tail of the tape, no nothing. Just an action figure Glamour Shot. And as you guys know, I appreciate that. It shows here's what this figure can do. Here's a little bit more. Uh, yes, you can see it in the package, but it is a little bit different. Now that I'm looking at the front of this package, I love the little Easter egg of all the green ha-has in the back. I didn't catch those at first. But uh, I'll show it a little bit when we get him out of the old plastic prison here. Let's pull him out. And you can see right there, see all those ha-has in the back? That is a pretty nice touch. That's a little extra attention to detail in the packaging. So I do appreciate little Easter eggs like that. See you later. We'll get that stand out later. You guys know how we do it. No twist ties, no clips, no none of that kind of stuff going on. He does come with a nice little blade here. And then he's got a little cane kind of pick out. It's almost like a miner's axe. Uh, is what it looks like a little bit. But yeah, there's the Joker. Looking pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. This is my first Joker McFarlane figure. And I know there's three new ones. I just saw one of, if you guys watched my action figure hunt video, uh, I did find the new one in GameStop. And I looked at it, I, I looked it over. Just not for me. You can't get it all. See you later. Just can't buy everything. You guys know how it goes. All right, Joker. Man, we got tough joints on this one. Oh my gosh, very stiff joints, which I appreciate. I appreciate that. Very good purple color on this Joker. I do like the purple here. I do like the green uh, shirt underneath. You got the nice white uh, rose or whatever kind of flower it is right there. I'm sure it squirts water or poison or something. I bet you that's one of his fatalities, isn't he? He probably squirts this in somebody's face and their face melts off. Uh, like I said, I've never played the game. Uh, this isn't quite my Joker. It's almost like a mix of old school J Super Friends Joker with more of like a Heath Ledger Joker. It's almost like they met in the middle a little bit. And actually, I didn't think I liked it a lot in the online glamour shots, but getting it in hand here, this is a fabulous Joker head. I actually do like this one. And by no means am I a Joker expert out there and know everything about it. But for what I'm looking for, 
I like the looks of this one. I like it a lot. He's got his tails down here on the back of his uh, shirt. A very uh, Joker trademark, I guess, going way back to the Super Friends days for me as well. Uh, I like this one, and he's a skinnier figure. You know, Joker has never been a big hulking brood. I'm sure there's some stories where he has been. But when you think of Joker, you think of very slender, very tall, obviously face paint. And you guys know I'm a sucker for face paint, even if it's clown face paint. Uh, some of the great clowns of all time, the Joker, of course, Captain Spaulding, of course, Bozo the Clown. Time to play the grand prize game. I remember those kids were always playing those ping pongs, like a young CM Punk. I remember as a kid watching Bozo, I was just like, man, I would just smoke everybody at this game. And I'm sure all you guys that watched Bozo back then probably thought the same. That's the way. Same with Double Dare or any of those games. You're like, Pfft. I could do it way better than that, but I don't know. When the lights are on, that's when uh, you know the rubber hits the road, as one might say. So can you do it when the lights are on? You can do it at home, fine. But when you're on foreign soil, can you make it happen? A grand prize game. One of the greatest games of all time. But I'm here for it. I'm here for makeup. I'm here for clowns. I'm here for this Joker. I like it. Uh, I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, this has got to be one of my favorite Mortal Kombat 11 figures, which just seems so strange to say. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but hey, what, what it's an enigma wrapped in a riddle, as you guys know. Looks beautiful with this knife. That is the winner of the weapons. I don't know about this one. I'm sure this is involved in the game. Uh, it's a nice, like, miner's axe, like I said. It's got a light, nice details on it. Got a nice skull on it. Almost looks like a mohawk on the top. Uh, it's got the silver wrapped around the brown handle. A lot of attention to detail, so I do appreciate that. But I guess I don't think of this necessarily with Joker. If he just had that big mallet he had as a Super Friends back in the day. Oh, I love a big mallet. Uh, and then same with this uh, knife here. It's just a brown handle on it. Got a little bit of design circles going on to it. But nice silver, nice edging on this knife. It looks like it could do some damage out there. Solid Joker figure, guys. Better than expected. We always love better than expected. And one of the best Mortal Kombat 11 figures I've unboxed uh, in since my time unboxing Mortal Kombat figures. Uh, just really, really cool out there. 22 points articulation, all the usual McFarlane articulation, the double jointed knees, elbows. Don't forget that toe articulation. Everybody loves a good toe articulation. I do got a McFarlane Batman. How about Death Metal Batman? You guys know I was a sucker for this one. I had to buy this one and his uh, cycle. I thought about getting rid of it because I don't really have a good connection to it. But now my head the last few days said, Kyle, you got to figure out where your Mortal Kombat shelf is going to be in your display. I'm leaning towards putting all my McFarlane DC figures. And I got a few. I got a Superman. I got a Batman. I got the Bat Cycle. I got a couple. Bizarro. There's a few that I've picked up. And I'm sure I'll pick up a few more in the future. But I think I'm going to display them all in a Mortal Kombat shelf. Because they all kind of are in the same universe. It does work out a little bit. Uh, I think that's the way I'm going to go with it. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned, like I always say. Subscribe to the channel. Hit your notification bell. You don't want to miss when I drop that action figure tour. If you thought last year's action figure tour was something else... Blowing it away this year. I didn't think that was possible. I figured, ah, oh, the first two years, that'd be the action figure display. That's good. Nobody else needs to see anything else. There's not going to be that big of changes. But I did a lot of changes this year. So this year, 2022, February-ish, let's call it, it's going to be a, a game changer. Could be the last big action figure display in my history of my channel. We'll see what happens. But I, I would subscribe. I'd hit your notification bell because you're not going to want to miss that one. And you can watch the old one to study up before we watch the new one. You can see what changed. But this Joker, man, I'm here for it. You guys in the comments down below, I want to hear your thoughts. Have you picked this one up yet? If you have not, I would take a strong look at picking this one up. This is very, very solid. I think the pictures do not do it justice. I think it looks better in hand as we get that from time to time with figures. But let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure you like this video. Of course, you guys know liking the videos helps the channel, of course. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com, the best way to support the channel. Pick up a t-shirt, rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling. You guys know how we do. Pick this up at ProWrestlingTees.com. So for the Joker, and even a little bit of Batman, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon. Aww.